Hey everyone, Ashton here from Without Code, here today to walk through our audio playlist widget. This widget displays a list of audio tracks rather than one single audio file like the Audio Essentials or Audio Widget. And you can use multiple widgets on the same page if you have multiple playlists. This can be great for music artists, bands, podcasters, churches, and much more. Before we get into the builder, we've got some awesome examples featuring some music from our very own production manager, Brandon, and his band, Ola Suite. Everything looks clean and features the music art heavily, which is cool. And we can see here on this page that there are four different layouts you can choose from, giving you lots of design freedom. Each track can display a different image while it plays, although in this demo, all the tracks have the same image. The entire player background also uses the track background image with overlay, blur, and opacity options. And you can get rid of it as well if you don't want it. Every feature you see in the playlist can be displayed or hidden, including shuffle, repeat, the more info button, etc. And the more info button links to an external link if you choose to display it. The download feature is not seen in the demo here, but you can enable a download button if you'd like to allow users to download the tracks. And on all players, you have the ability to scrub, where you can hit play on a track and click on the progress bar on the track to advance towards the middle of a song. Looking specifically at this top layout, which is called the wide layout in the editor, this is the largest player and shows the album art and playlist side by side, with transport controls underneath. Compact is the next layout, and this layout is actually really cool because it has all the features of the largest layout, but it takes up very little space. The artwork is displayed and all the same transport controls are available here. If you click the playlist button, a playlist pops up on the screen. Simple is the smallest of all layouts. It looks a little like the other audio widgets, like Audio Essentials. However, it allows you to move throughout the playlist with the previous and next buttons. And the final layout is Standard, and this is a tall format that is good for mobile or placement in columns on a desktop layout. So let's switch over to the Builder. We're working with our Kai Musician template, and we're going to scroll down to our Listen section where we can incorporate our audio playlist widget. Right now we have a few single audio players on the page, and what we want to do is tidy up a bit by placing all of our tracks into the audio playlist widget. So let's delete this row altogether, which we can do by clicking up here on Row and selecting Delete. Now let's jump into our Widgets panel and grab our audio playlist widget from the Media section. And we'll drop it into our row here on the page. And now let's take a look inside the Settings panel. First field here is asking for a unique ID, so make sure you enter something unique in here if you're using more than one on the page. Next is the layout option. Now the first thing you should think about is what layout will best fit your needs. All of the layouts have a wide format except for the standard layout. If you want a single widget that will look good on both desktop and mobile, consider the simple or standard layouts. Now on the subject of mobile, if you choose the wide or compact layout, you will need to hide the player on mobile because those layouts are not going to work well on mobile. You can either leave the player off entirely off of your mobile site, or just hide it on mobile and then create a duplicate mobile-friendly version of the playlist and making sure to hide that version on desktop. For this tutorial, we're going to go with the wide layout. Now the first thing we'll notice is that it's not displaying the layout correctly, and this is because the widget container needs to be manually sized for the layout that you want. So let's jump into the Design tab, and let's increase the Width option all the way up to 960 here. And when we do that, you'll see that the elements of the player kind of shuffle around. Now this layout is intended to run at widths above 900 or so, otherwise it's not going to display right. And while we're here in the width and height area, we'll set the height around 569 and the playlist height around 282. We're setting them like this because we have a general idea of the space that we're going to need for these elements. So now we have positioning and layout squared away. And this should always be your first step when setting up the widget. Now let's jump back to the content section and finish getting this set up. Beneath our layout option is our audio track setup. Now there are two ways to add songs to the player. There's local and external link. Now in this tutorial, we're gonna be working with local files, but if you do choose to use external links, keep in mind that the links should be a direct link to an audio file. In most cases, the URL should end with .mp3. So we have one list item already sitting here, and we can add additional ones by clicking add audio item. Now inside the list item in this flyout panel, we have the option to load in our local mp3 file. So let's click here, and we're going to select File for Download here, and then click this Plus File option. And on the new screen that appears, you can select an mp3 that you've previously uploaded or upload a new one. In this case, we've already loaded in all the mp3s for our demo, so I'm just going to select this first one. 
There we go. Next up, we have the option to load in our cover image for this track. So let's click on image. Same here, we've already loaded in our imagery, but feel free to upload your own from here as well. And finally, we have three text fields to add title, subtitle, and external URL for this track. The title of this track is Big Sleep. And for the subtitle, we're going to put the band name, Ola Sweet. And for info URL, we'll put the band website, olasweet.com. Awesome. Real quick, let me add in two more tracks so we can see the full playlist functionality. I'll add a list item here. Select local. Load in our file. We'll keep the same cover art. Now this song's title is Go With Ghosts. Subtitle Ola Suite again. And same URL. And let me add in a third list item. Local. Add file. Same cover art. This track is titled Strange Lately. Subtitle Ola Suite. And same URL. Perfect. Back on the left side here for our main content settings, we have a skin style option, and you can choose from dark or light skin. This allows you to better match the general style of your site. We'll stick with the dark skin for now. Cover image fitting style. Now this is a really important setting. It allows you to choose an adaptive or fixed format for the cover image of the tracks. Adaptive displays each cover image in its original shape or aspect ratio, while the fixed setting displays all cover images in a fixed shape. We suggest using the fixed setting here, because when you set it to adaptive, the widget passes along the original shape or aspect ratio of the image, which can cause the entire widget to change shape as the user advances through the playlist. And this can result in a jarring effect if the cover images use different dimensions. So it's for this reason that we suggest either preparing all cover images by cropping them to the same dimensions or by using the fixed setting. Next, we have another flyout panel of options here for more info button settings. We have show info URL. This displays the link text, but the link still functions when this is turned off. Button label. This is the text that is displayed on the button. And button link target determines whether the link opens in the same window or a new window. Now in this last section, we have a bunch of show toggles, which show or hide various features of the playlist, which include cover image, background image, repeat button, shuffle button, previous button, next button, and download button. Before we finish up here, let's jump back into the design section to go over the remaining settings. We've already covered width, height, and playlist height, but main accent color, this sets the color for various elements of the playlist, such as the active track and the loop button. Player background styling, we have a flyout panel here containing three settings. We have overlay opacity of both the background color as well as the background image shown in the playlist. Keep note that the background image is the same as the track cover image. And finally, background image blur value. The background image may be blurred to a lesser or greater degree. Now, increasing blur value can allow the user to better focus on the text and button details. And finally, we have one more flyout panel here with player text styling. And this section contains all the styling for the text throughout the widget, which are all labeled with their exact function. So that about covers it. Hope you enjoy our new audio playlist widget. Hit us up and support with any speed bumps you encounter. And until next time, this is Ashton at Without Code. Take care.